Hey, it's Rusty. Thanks for tuning in to Burning Cereal. Today, what we have for you, it's not a recipe. It's a product review. I was up at two o'clock in the morning watching TV and all of a sudden this infomercial came on for the New Wave Precision Induction Cooktop 2. And I thought, mm, all right, I'll watch it because it's about cooking. Well, they had all kinds of claims saying it'll do this and it'll do that. And I thought, yeah, probably not so much. But I bought one anyway. Okay, so here it is. When you buy it from the local store, you're going to get a cooktop and a pan. Now the pan has some sort of extraterrestrial coating on it, so nothing's supposed to stick to it. We'll check that out too. But with the cooktop, it's supposed to heat just the pan. So if your pan is on this ring here, this outside is gonna be cool. Now, it says right here, cooking service can remain hot. That means the center is gonna stay warm, but the edges will be nice and cool. We're gonna put that through its paces also. They say it'll work as a slow cooker. It got program keys and time keys. As you know, I've already got a slow cooker, so I don't really care about that. It's got a bunch of different settings, low, medium, uh, excuse me, low, medium, low, medium, medium high, high, and sear. They're all different pre-programmed temperatures. And if it's a temperature, let's say you set it at medium, it's at 275, you don't want it at 275, you can lower it down if you want and it'll keep that temperature supposedly for as long as the pan is on there now again nothing happens until you put a pan on there once you put a pan on you have to press start nothing will happen unless you press start the other thing is if you've got it started and you take the pan off it beeps at you, gives you an error code until you put the pan back on, press clear, and then press start again, and it'll fire right back up. As for pans, they have to be induction ready. Uh, most of them will have a symbol on the bottom that says that they're induction ready. Easy way to check, throw a magnet on it. If the magnet sticks, chances are pretty high that it's gonna work. You can check your pans that way. I personally have a lot of induction pans, but I have some that aren't. This magnet won't stick to it, so this pan wouldn't work on here. If we put it on, gave it a temp, press start, it's gonna give you an error. So one of the claims that they have is it'll boil water in 90 seconds. So let's try and boil some water in 90 seconds. Now, from the infomercial, they probably, I don't know exactly how much water they used, but it probably wasn't that much. So I'm just gonna throw a cup of water in there. It's exactly one cup. I'm gonna set it for its highest setting and press start. Let's see what happens. Minute 10, we're starting to get some bubbles. So there's 90 seconds, that's not quite a boil yet. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, so at about two and a half minutes is when it really started to uh, come to a boil, but still, it's probably faster than what's on the stove. All right, so let's make an omelet. See how hard that is. Uh, 275, that sounds about right. Press start. Pam, warm up a little, it's already getting hot. 
I will tell you this, it does get hot quick. So. Couple of eggs. Let's see what it does. Now you can probably hear the fan in the background, maybe not. It's not offensively loud. I mean, you can hear it, but it's not that bad. Starting to cook now. Oh, I said I was going to make an omelet. Looks like we're making scrambled eggs now. Throw a little bit of cheese in there. A little salt, pepper, and garlic. Hmm. One thing I notice is the cheese doesn't stick to the pan. Those look done. Let's try a little experiment. Let's put this back at 275. Let's do this. Let's set it all the way at the top. Let's see what happens to our cheese. Sure hope I'm not ruining this pan. Can't return it with a ruined pan. Well, that looks pretty melted to me. Starting to burn on the edges. Right there. Right there. All right, so let's shut it off. Here it's sizzling. Look at that. Cheese doesn't stick. See how burned it was. That was pretty burned. Or pretty well done, I guess we'll call it. Okay, so it passes the burn test. All right, so let's give it one more test. Slide it halfway on the cooktop. Set it at medium. Press start. You can hear it firing up. Drop some butter in there and see what happens. Okay, butter immediately starts to melt, as you can see. Let's try this. Okay, so it's still melting there too. Now that's some room temperature butter, but let's see. That's warm. That's not. See if we move the butter to the outside nothing so inside this red ring it's still kind of warm not that hot but i'm not going to leave my hand on it this is kind of warm too but this out here this is cool to the touch don't drop your mitts in that area there you can see that the butter isn't melting on this side but it is melting in here but let me tell you this area is still getting warm so there you have it. That's our review of the New Wave Precision Induction Cooktop 2. It cooked eggs like a dream. It melted the cheese, burned. We even burned the cheese and it didn't stick to that pan. So whatever 
space cowboy stuff they put on there seems to work. We'll see how that stuff works in six months from now. But it looks like it did everything that it was supposed to. Took a little bit longer to boil a cup of water, um, but you know, two minutes, minute and a half, who really cares? The other thing is the center does stay warm. Um, I stopped cooking about three or four or five minutes ago and it's, I can touch it, but it's hot. The edges, they're not hot at all. So I think this is a keeper for me. Um, like I said, you can pick it up at local stores. They're about a hundred bucks. It comes with the pan. Uh, if you go online, you buy one, get one, and they'll throw in the kitchen sink too. Um, but that's our review. Leave us some comments below whether you think this thing really works or not, and we'll see you next time.